Hi there, Spark fans. Rob Reynolds here. Every once in a while, a product comes along that's unlike anything we've seen or worked with before, and it opens our minds to an entire new world of possible projects. This is one of those products. Introducing the Cthulhu Shield from Sapien LLC. The Cthulhu Shield is the world's first open source sensory substitution and sensory augmentation development platform. It uses a flexible electrode array that sits in your mouth and can be used to either send electrical stimulation to the tongue or receive input from the tongue. This type of tongue I.O. could be extremely useful to replace senses that are weakened or absent and could even be deployed for augmentation, such as sensing infrared or ultrasonic signals, for example, or receiving updates from the internet. Using an 18 electrode grid to tactilely display signals on the tongue, the electrodes on the array can be activated with patterns of electrical pulses to depolarize nerve membranes in the tongue to create different types of touch sensations. You can use these touch sensations to draw shapes or simple images on the tongue, feel different sound frequencies, receive turn-by-turn -turn directions with your tongue, send keystrokes to your computer, control the cursor, or even control a mobility device. Additionally, the Cthulhu Shield can sense whether or not your tongue is in contact with different electrodes using capacitive sensing. The Cthulhu is operated with the contact from your tongue. It can either send messages to your tongue, and I've tried that and it's really cool, playing music and getting the sensory sensation on your tongue, and it can also receive things to do things like move your mouse pointer or click on things. For starters, one of the first sketches is basically tongue training. And you can see the LEDs on the shield here. As I move the tip of my tongue around onto the different electrodes, different lights will illuminate brighter than they originally are. Now from there, you can move to the next logical step, which is moving your mouse pointer around your screen. This takes a little bit of work. And now, as you can see, I'm holding this in my hand. For people who have mobility limitations or issues, that's not gonna be an option. You'll probably need to fabricate or buy something like a harmonica holder that would sit over the shoulders and place the thing right here so it could sit in their mouths without them having to hold it. Let's try moving the mouse pointer around. Uh, 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 okay, okay. It's not easy. Okay, so as you can see, it takes a little bit of work, but I'm getting there. Um, the next step, at least for me, was to try and incorporate it into a game. Something kind of easy, maybe a, a first person or a role play, or in my case, an old World War II flight simulator. Wish me luck. Okay, there we go. Okay, okay, right, that way. <laughs> okay, that's not that. Alright, okay. Alright. Okay, good. Okay. Right. I'm good at going in a circle. Now obviously it's gonna take some practice to get proficient at this, but this thing is kind of a big deal. I've spent a lot of years working with people with mobility limitations and a number of years back I lost my brother-in-law to ALS. Making this technology available outside of just the medical or high-end engineering sector can have a hugely profound impact on so many more lives. So take a look at the Cthulhu Shield over at sparkfun.com and happy and helpful hacking.